Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo, and welcome back to Black Ice. Uh, yesterday, I said that we wouldn't be uh, carrying on this series because I didn't want to play it all out again, and then I played it all out again. <laughs> so I've remade the save. Uh, as you can see, we're a bit behind where we were in our uh, in our other game. We're yet to take France, we're yet to take uh, Scandinavia. The Finnish Winter War rages on still. We're also behind in terms of... Uh, you know, tank numbers and some of that stuff, but I have decided I uh, I do want to finish this campaign. You know, I started it. I want to finish it mm. And so let's do this thing. So my main hope for this campaign is that uh, we'll have a proper war with France Which means basically we have to attack them quite soon because they seem to just attack into Westwall until they all die uh, Factory count wise we're doing pretty well main problem right now is uh, Lacking some anti-tank. I just dropped the production on anti-tank guns, but we're, we're meeting the demand pretty quickly. Uh, we have some uh, yeah mortar and heavy machine gun teams. I forgot to overproduce them, and uh, as with last, uh, as was in the last series, those are going to become serious issues. We're struggling to produce our mechanized right now because we have a huge shortfall of rubber. I'm currently working on rubber tech, I think. And this one gives me synthetic oil refineries. We actually need this tech before we can build the rubber plants. Maybe there's a focus we can do for that. Hmm, rushing civilian petrol might be a good idea. Adding a little bit of uh, oil production could be good. Diverting... Yeah, see, this could be good. If we do divert to synthetic and then... It takes 180 days and you can only do it in two years, though. Hmm. Yeah, it might take too long to get to this stuff. Rationing civilian petrol though, that does seem uh, pretty advisable. Can't do this one till what? It war with the Soviet Union? Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's invade France, shall we? So, my men are just coming up for after their conquest of the Balkans. You will note that the Balkans, none of it joined the Allies, which is marvellous. Uh, I have my port garrisons up. Oh right, so templates, everyone likes templates. Here's the infantry template, nice and simple. It's got slightly less recon. It does have the uh, heavy artillery in it here. Uh, oh, I meant to take out the heavy artillery. What did I take out? Oh, I took out the standard artillery. Whoops. All right, let's switch that over. We lose eight soft attack, but the heavy artillery is uh, is so expensive that I decided I think we should probably. Well, I don't know. We have uh, we have the heavy artillery right now, at least. Right? Yeah, we have heavy artillery spare now. So yeah, let's leave let's leave the heavy artillery in. That's fine, that's fine. Um yes, so I produced more planes than last time. As you can see we have a more substantial standing air force. Loads of stuka uh stugs. These are stukas, aren't they? Yeah, stukas. Uh so let's bring them all over here. Three of them there. One of them there. Ready for the invasion of Belgium. The rest can go here. One can go up here. These guys are just fighting back allied bombers. Uh, we're having a bit of trouble over Austria. We could do with an airbase in uh, Corinthia Styria. How long does it take to build an airbase? It's not that long. Yeah, you know what? Give me give me an airbase right there. Because the, the mission efficiency on this guy sucks. Because the range on these planes is rubbish. Okay. Uh, yeah. All this stuff wise, we've got loads of spare political power. I can't remember what I was saving it up for. Oh my god, I haven't gone to war economy yet. You can tell I was zooming through this on speed 5. Uh, I think I do want to switch straight to this. We're going to run out of manpower if I do this? Hmm. That is a problem. I'm not going to tell you it's not. Hmm. It's, it's good though. 10% less, 5% less consuming good factories. 5% faster construction on military, good, on military stuff. Maybe I should change the draft first and then change it. We're on the 2 year draft right now. If we go to three year draft, we start going into uh, debuffs and things. I've gone all the way up to elite officer training, elite standards, all that good stuff. I also switched to foreign investors tolerated again. I uh, haven't changed all the rest of this. Managed to stay homogenous in terms of our national unity, which is very good. Let's go three year draft. Uh, we need the manpower. It didn't make a difference. I don't understand the manpower mass in this game. It's very weird. Anyway, we're going to go work on it in a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't finish showing the... So this is the Panzer Battalion. Oh, yes, look what I did. <clears throat> I found it, guys. <laughs> it only took about 
a thousand comments, people saying that this, this tech existed for me to actually learn that it existed. <laughs> Reorganize your Panzer Battalions to no longer mix light tanks and medium tanks in the same battalion. Huzzah! Which means that these Panzer Battalions are pure... Remember it is? Pure Panzer IVs. Just 280 Panzer IVs. These don't add any Panzer IIs or Panzer ones or anything like that. Anymore. So there's the Panzer Battalion. There's the Mechanized Battalion. We're building some Mechanized Battalions again. Since they served us really well last time. The Mechanized are basically... Uh, they're all engineers. Recon, recon... Logistics. Maybe I don't even want a maintenance. Yeah, I'm going to take out the maintenance company in favor of another recon company. Oh, actually, do I have any more recon companies? Is a tank yet a recon company? No. Hertz speed, foot speed. Yes, we already have all the recon companies in here that you actually can have. Unless I started using SS divisions mixed with normal divisions, which, like I said in the previous campaign, I consider cheating. Where are you? Here. Uh, here, come down here and help in Southwest Germany where they're fighting us. They're not really bombing us much. We're, 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 we're using... Yeah, we're using? We're getting a good ratio on uh, our fighter deaths to, to their fighter deaths, though, so I'm going to continue fighting over this area. I had not actually checked this. In terms of uh, plane count, how are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Like, we have an almost equal plane count, which means if we consistently manage to uh, have a good good kill ratio, we should be making uh, making progress and gaining air superiority. As you can see, we're producing uh, 0.7 fighters a day. I thought it was better than that. Oh, right, right, right. The rubber shortage is killing my uh, my production lines. Yeah. We have a huge tank deficit because I'm trying to deploy another seven divisions, which is a bit ambitious. Uh, but we'll give it a go. As soon as these guys arrive, <coughs> we'll launch the Sleafen plan. In fact, probably before then, because we could just crush into... Uh, yeah. Let's crush into the Netherlands and then uh, do a staggered invasion. Netherlands, then Belgium. So that's how I often do it. It's very effective. It's certainly the standard play in, in multiplayer. I'm not claiming to have invented this by any means. Let's get uh, all the planes up in the air. Huge amounts of close air support. With nice range. Close air support has a lot better range. The Stukas, anyway. <clears throat> we should be getting uh, better range because uh, we are moving on to... Uh, we're slowly upgrading to these uh, 39 fighters. Almost time for us to start researching some of the uh, some of these ones. I think I can get a uh, relatively quick research bonus on those. Yeah, it's only nine days. I think that's probably going to be a good idea to uh, grab that bonus at some point. So I was fiddling with something on the, on the monitor. There we go. Okay. Justification for Friesland is completed. Cool. Mm. Really shouldn't be a problem pushing in here. So, declare war. Let's go. So tanks plow straight through to Rotterdam. They do have some of the tanks of their own, but they shouldn't be an issue. Two on four, we might not win. No, we are going to. Cool. Let's slow it down. The game sound seems a bit low. Let me just, uh, let me just lower, raise up the game sound a little bit. Or is it just that this is way too loud? Yes, brother, this is way too loud. I apologise if the uh, the music has been far too loud so far this episode and you couldn't be able to hear the game at all I suspect that may have been the case that's a bit better okay sorry I just need to last little tweak on the sounds there we go okay uh, we're fine to not push in the north we'll just make it a uh, concentrated push in the south the tanks are not doing so hot oh there is a river crossing there I thought there wouldn't be a river crossing it doesn't look like there's a river crossing between here and here anyway have them hold uh, they can just assist here and then push in and come in from behind since they're nice and fast. Panzers go at six, I think, base. Whereas the uh, mech have a beautiful max speed of uh, base speed of 12, which is slightly absurd. Let's punch in here as well. We're getting the cast helping in there, yeah. We did lose 11. Wow, they're shooting down. Enemy anti air shot down th uh, 11 cast. Wow. I don't even have any anti-air here. I guess it's in the divisions. Yeah, they have, uh... Getting some air attack in the divisions. Why can't I see your air attack by hovering over you? I can see your piercing. I think I should be able to see your air attack as well. Really. Okay, there we go. Plowing on through. Circle the guys in the south. Keep these guys pinned. You guys, uh, join in on the pinning action. You guys roll on in to Amsterdam. I should have made the main attack here, really. 
<laughs> rather than here in this, you know, more more river rivery area in the south. Just silly of me. Oh well. These guys can just sweep in from behind. All you guys press in there. And you go to Breeder. Breeder? Breeder? I don't know. This is just a practice push, ready for the uh, the real big French one after all. Okay. One's still coming in. Good. There's Arnhem. Arnhem, even. They did join the Allies, didn't they? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to rush in fast enough that they can't do that, unfortunately. As great as that would be. Nice overrun there. That's how fast our tank divisions are. Especially with massive air superiority. Let's get the mechanized helping up here in the uh, attack on Amsterdam. You guys might as well just keep pushing these guys back. There seem to be crazy numbers of victory points, by the way, in this mod. If you look at uh, down here, I think this might be a bug, but... It seems like this whole region is nothing but victory points. <laughs> right. Attack on Amsterdam continues apace. Good. And now we're coming in from behind. Let's get a nice uh, push up here. There we go. Right, with the, the Navy, we're not really making much of a serious effort. I figured I might as well just produce a whole bunch of subs but I haven't even bothered to deploy them yet we're really not worrying about the Navy yet let's uh sure let's do some convoy raiding why not and if they all die if they die they die you know I, I don't I'm not this isn't a naval campaign really if we beat uh if we mention naval invade England it will be by massive air superiority which I think we can achieve there goes the Netherlands Leaving just one, uh, is that a Polish division? Still in here. Okay. Let's get some guys on the ports. Any more ports? Yes, Amsterdam itself. Okay. <clears throat> ports garrisoned, we move on to the invasion of Belgium. We actually don't need to go through Luxembourg. And then we shall just career through the north of France and generally blitzkrieg our way to victory. Where are you guys going that you don't think you need to be assigned down here? Hmm. Tanks, just move to counter that uh, Polish landing, would you? Or is that him landing here, maybe? And then immediately being wiped out, I don't know. Alright, all ten motorised. I'm going to have you come here. And we're going to blitz down to the capital. Well, not that I can draw that to start with. Because we've got planes, 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 planes. Sorry. Planes, planes, here. And then we do have to push through some wards here. Unless we went all the way around this way. But mostly planes on the run to the capital is, uh, is very valuable. Alright, you guys. Give me a justification on Belgium, please. Planes can all stand down for a moment. Oh, we overstacked this one. Whoops. And you can move here. Okay. Good. You guys as well can move here. Nice range out of the Brabant Air Base. So, where are you guys going? There shouldn't be anyone assigned to this from up there. No. Good. Oh, right, and I drew that attack plan wrong uh, because we can't draw it into France yet. No problem. So we, we're winning. Sorry, we're losing these. Just no problem. We're losing convoys, but. Yeah, and we're losing a whole bunch of subs. Yeah, I mean. Subs, just, just come home. Like, it's not. It doesn't matter. You might as well just have them return. Just going to give these guys a second to uh, get themselves in position for the glorious invasion of Belgium. Still have enough manpower, so I guess uh, I don't know what I'll do next. Maybe we stay on partial. I mean, it's only one percent debuff on the popular recruitable population. Maybe we'll be okay. I'm sorry, hitting the mic there. There is some uh, some tech 
over here, which gives us more recruitable population. I guess we should start working towards that and that to uh, to get that buff. So these guys come out. Oh, I did train lots of my divisions, by the way, so we have lots of regular soldiers. Ooh, some supply problems up here. All right, well, that's probably because of these guys. Let's just launch the offensive before the supply starts to be a real issue. Because uh, we're still in our supply grace for now. Put the planes up. And launch. Launch. Go straight down into Ghent, then go out. So you go this way. Straight to Dunkirk. You guys can crush into the capsule. And we'll just do a kind of full frontal style malarkey over here. Great. Of course, we're going to have really easy wins all the way along the front. And then we're just going to absolutely roll through northern France. Tear through here. Tear through this undefended land. There we go. Three mills. We'll probably deal with these mostly in a minute. Uh, just for now. Come on, give me, give me ex wildly excess mortar and heavy machine gun preparation. Oh, we have 60,000 <laughs> uh, division of um, stab equipment, you know, leadership equipment. So we have the highest bonus you can get from uh, from that. Go on, let's produce some more of these. Uh, Copy me another bit of Panzer stab stuff. These ones give more uh, more organization to Panzer div divisions. We should slow it down a bit. Uh, move a thousand here. We'll move a thousand Stukas into northern France. Sorry, six thousand six hundred Stukas. Sorry, into northern France. We'll pull these guys from central Germany as well. Yeah, you guys go on this one. You guys go here. We can let them bomb us for a moment if it lets us get serious air superiority over them. The infantry can just clean up behind while the tanks continue their push. It's good to, uh, you know, obviously actually not going to do that, but it seems as good as any for a battle plan. Quick encirclement on Calais. And they're still, as you can see, Having all these men down here on uh, on our, our west wall border is definitely not a smart play. Keep these guys going down here. It may seem like the AI is just you know being super slow to react, but if you think about it, I don't know how many days ago it was we declared on Belgium. It wasn't many. This push is going at stupendous speed. You can see how... You might, it might take you a while to react. I mean, they should react faster than this, obviously, but you can see why it might take a while to react. How is the defenders of Paris? It's okay, in which case, move to encircle Paris. Keep going into Sedan. They only have 38% national unity. We are, of course, on the, uh, the old patch I had to roll back, uh, so we've still got national unity rather than stability and war support. Okay, can be in here fine. Their superiority is uh, is established. You guys uh, keep moving like this. That'll be great. Just get some serious air support over Paris. <clears throat> so I can help you keep coming in there. Let's see if we can. Some Brits holding hard at Verdun, but. I imagine to no avail in the long term. The infantry's flooding in here. Let's have the infantry focus uh, focus on this side. Didn't mean that to be a spearhead, but that's fine. Just to hold off these guys, basically, while the tanks do the actual, uh, actual heavy lifting. And now that we have Paris encircled, we can press in with another tank division. The other one can just keep pressing on, I think come down here. We'll deal with the uh, the military factories once we finish taking France. We're going to need these guys. Right, these are our first actual military police, so uh, yeah, Poland is a bit, of a bit of a tough spot. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the military police theatre. Excuse me, I'm just going to sneeze while I set up the military police.
Ah, excuse me. Right. We just need one here. One here. Two here. One here. And one here. One here. We may well end up needing less than this, because of course at the moment they're getting the uh, resistance in neighboring states increased to the resistance, but we'll see. Here. Get you here. You here. And the rest of you can just come and hang out over here. Uh, ready to be deployed around France as necessary. Let's get an extra mechanized helping with the attack on Paris without a river crossing. And you guys can reposition rather than attacking directly from Versailles. Let's have some uh, major strategic redeployments of infantry into France. Can't redeploy into a battle, so why wasn't letting me do that. There we go. Navy size has gone down to small. <laughs> so in Finland have signed a white peace. Soviet seized their, uh, their little gains there. Right, we're still on the resistance fat mode. Don't need that. So I do want to push these guys out of that tile. Attack on Paris is improving now that we're no longer taking quite as much of a river crossing penalty. The Brits are now finally uh, being able to react to our, our tank push. But I think it's too late. I think Paris might seal the deal. We'll see. Let's neaten up this front over here to allow the infantry to maneuver more easily. And the same over here. Let's just go straight in there. I feel like I'm missing some... Uh... Yeah, that's the problem. I felt like something was wrong. Need uh, more air support over the central French region. It's fine. The fall of France will uh, seriously hamper their ability to bomb Germany, so that's good. It should free up some planes for uh, more aggressive stratagems. <laughs> Rather than just constantly having to defend skies. Uh, yeah, this needs to come all the way down here. So these guys don't think they should walk off. Good. Keep pushing in. You can just close this. Up here. He actually got pushed back from Sherberg. Is that Sherberg? Yeah. Do do do. Just stay there. Let's uh, let's delete these. And we only want you guys on the cutting. Excuse me. Wrong one. We only want these guys on the cutting edge. No, I keep doing it wrong, good lord. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Stay there. Come on, Paris. Give it up. They're fighting hard to hold Paris. I wonder if you get... You should get a stat bonus when you're defending your capital. That would make sense, wouldn't it? How do they have a country bonus when, when I try and play France, you get like a... 100% debuff on all stats. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but it's close. New tech. This is done in 100 days, so I don't want to save up yet. I guess I should take civilian works so we can get uh, get more housing. It's more recruitable population. The fall of Paris. Glorious. Another victory for the Vaterland, indeed. All right, let's push into Dijon. Just keep the push going. <clears throat> These guys can rush Lyon. Shouldn't have a problem. Brushing the remaining French resistance out of the way. Let's see what we can do to get a lot of these English divisions as we go. Okay. So I'll crush in here. Mets would be nice if we could take that. So uh, this is a lot of their largest victory points remaining. If you guys could come over here, that would be good. Just keep it going. Right, we're into West France now. In terms of air zones. So some of you Stukas could come and adapt. We're doing well on industry tech, by the way. I've got everything I want. We don't need bomber factory ship workshops or submarine workshops because I don't care about those, but we've got all the others all the way up to uh, 1939 level already, which I think is great. Uh, 
Do I need anything else over here? I'm just happy with my medium panzers at the moment. Especially since it seems like mechanized divisions are the way to go, rather than strict panzer divisions. Can I upgrade mechanized divisions somewhere over here, maybe? I don't think so. <clears throat> the armored cars aren't used in mechanized divisions, just in motorized divisions. Maybe they're over here somewhere. Where is the tech that invents mechanized? Oh, this is what I should be doing. <laughs> yeah, I need to upgrade all my, uh, all my artillery. Insufficient resources, worry about it in a minute. Once again, let's just let's just wrap up France here. And then worry about other stuff. Why are you not capitulating yet, France? Come on. Alright, uh Metz is just gonna be an absolute pain's take because they're level 12 4. So Nancy's worth victory points though. Let's get in there. Advance it on the on the line a bit. Imaginary line, I mean. Not across a big river, though. That's just silly. Hold. Thank you. Sure, we'll give a support attack up there. Keep coming down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just, uh, yeah, rush Bordeaux. That'll do it. That should probably break them. Bordeaux and Brest. That'll be enough. Pin them there. Speed three. Glorious. Well, I'm kind of glad that I had to restart the series because, uh, you know, the the fall of France in our, as you know, as you probably know anyway, in the in the first half of the series, you know, the, on the original save, a bit disappointing. Not much, uh, not much actual fighting involved. Whereas in this one, you know, I felt like we really outmaneuvered the French army. Not that it was hugely difficult, but we did, you know, we outmaneuvered them. They were all here on the front, and we ripped through to about here before they even had a chance to respond. The speed of our divisions was simply too much for them. And the fall of Bordeaux, I think, seals their fate. It does indeed. On the 24th of February, 1940, France has capitulated. Glorious. So we get a bunch of uh, equipment off them. We uh, now try and move to eliminate all remaining members of the British Continental Expeditionary Force. Right, you guys. Yeah. Oop, wrong one again. All right, just put a charge in here. That'll break eventually. Same in here, and it's almost done running on the front. <laughs> Mets might still be a pain to take, but from enough directions. Man, <laughs> it's amazing that uh, yeah, the level of the forts on the imaginary line are that they can actually still remain a troublemaking factor even when they're uh, even when there's no one left to defend them oh hey we captured their axis there no we don't need Italy we captured the uh, French fleet sweet okay it's uh, garrison up I'm not gonna worry about not garrisoning with good divisions it'll just take take too long I'd rather uh, you know hey it's it's an important job garrisoning the ports Okay, uh, what else on the Swiss border? I want it to be empty apart from port garrisons so that we can uh, see how many military police we need. They left the port, the fools! Okay, clear them out of here. Let's be having that attack on Metz now. And as soon as we take Metz, I'll organize the, uh, the factories. Uh, yes, I would love... <clears throat> that's not actually that good. But tank and armor variants, or oh, plus 10, is hugely good. Let's get those tank radios invented. <clears throat> oh, the arm shipments are so irritating. <laughs> that's a pointless event. Should be able to disable them permanently, like motivational speeches. We did give two motivational speeches in this campaign, by the way. On, uh, on research speeds, so we have a 2% research speed bonus. With as many research slots as we have, I feel that that's even more valuable than in uh, in vanilla. It costs us 400 political power, which I you know I could do with right about now, but nevertheless, all right. I think a push from here in will be the best way to to break the Swiss. Flight of Rudolf Hess. I mean, we're down in an advisor. Yeah, political advisor. So that judge is pretty good. 
going is rubbish. Uh, yeah, let's go with the sympathetic judge. Oh, freaking! I was saving for <laughs> saving for war economy, wasn't I? Never mind. <laughs> Okay, and uh, that episode is the Fall of France. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll, we'll tidy up some minor independent nations like Switzerland, Greece, Denmark. Then we'll launch... Excuse me. Ah, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. <laughs> it's, uh, then we'll launch a big invasion of Scandinavia. And then we'll consider our position. At that point, we may wish to attempt Sea Lion, which might be a big bombing campaign. I might want to invade Spain or Italy. But we shall decide in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I do hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.